How quickly we got here, the final game of the 2013 Cavalier varsity football season, and they'll travel to City Stadium to take on the Falcons, stadium with 60 years of history. Captains for the Cavaliers are Brandon Tyson, Tristan Green, Chase Stanley, and Brad Sprouse. Opening kick, Dominic Fields trying to bring it back for the Cavs. He gets 14 yards on the return, but is brought down. Then it's Brad Sprouse. Sprouse on the keeper here, taking the green and gold downfield. He picks up 33 yards on this one. Cavalier drive will stall though, Sal Sadati getting hit immediately. And the Falcons take over with a decent field position and pick up nine more yards on a quick pass. Kendrick Robinson makes the stop. A.J. Fox, Stephen Bond, and Mike Davis help to end the Falcons drive though. And after the down punt, the Cavalier offense takes over again. Brad Couch will carry a couple of times, but will get stopped for losses by the Huguenot defense. Sharif Henderson makes a snag, but can't turn it upfield and the Cavaliers are forced to punt with Justin Jones. Busting the laces on this one, kicking it just under 60 yards, and Chase Stanley making the tackle, and along with Sharif Henderson on the flyby. The Falcons again have some success on the short pass, but the running game is brought to a stop for a loss by Sal Sidotti. The Falcons' wings will get clipped by Mike Austin, and that will force Huguenot to punt to the Cavs. But it will leave the Cavaliers deep in their own end of the field. And they'll take over with their offense. And Sprouse is going to take off. And the keeper again with great success, picking up 40 yards and taking the Cavs across the midfield line. Brad Couch picks up six yards before running into a flock of Falcons and setting up a fourth and short that will see the handoff going to Brandon Tyson on the heavy package and he will pick up the first down. That will bring it into the first quarter of play and the team still tied at nil. Couch picks up a few more yards, but the Cavalier drive will again be stopped by the Falcons and the Cavs defense return to the field. A.J. Fox, Adam Angeloff, and Chase Stanley run down the Falcons. QB forcing him out of bounds with a loss. And Huguenot bounces right back. This one, a nice pass and catch that puts them well into Cavalier territory. Fox with help from Stephen Bond and Brandon Tyson hand the Falcons a loss. That wouldn't set them back for long, though, as they break free on the run and get inside the Cavs five-yard line. That would be all the Falcons would get, though. Brandon Tyson slows the progress, and then Ty Farrell takes the feet out from under the rushing attempt. A.J. Fox hands the Falcons another loss, attacking on a sack for the game. Mike Austin breaks up the Falcon pass. The Cavaliers get the ball back, but neither team seems to be having much luck on offense going through the first half of the game. Sprouse hit behind the line of scrimmage and his pass goes wild, luckily not intercepted. And then he goes long on this one, going deeper. And this one gets broken up by the Falcons. A couple of Cavaliers getting a shot at it, but nobody's able to bring it in. So Justin Jones punts it away. Looked like his knee was down on that play, but he only picks up a few yards anyway. Cavaliers doing a nice job on special team. Again, it's Brandon Tyson taking the quarterback down and then the sack to his record for his final high school game. Then Sal Sadati making a stop. Cavaliers get the ball back. Sprouse on the carry. Picks up a couple of yards before the Falcons make the stop. Then Couch caught behind the line of scrimmage. Can't turn it upfield. Cavaliers have to punt again. Justin Jones' punt gets tipped slightly there, but it touches a Huguenot player, and the Cavaliers recover. Kendrick Robinson diving on top of it. Cheerleaders all bundled up over there like it's Arctic weather. Well, it wasn't in the 30s. It was right cold. Cavaliers getting something going here late in the first half. of uh, The pass complete there, but that one, whoo, getting knocked out from under his feet there. Brad Couch has to let that one go, and the teams will go into halftime tied at zero all. So the team's out for the second half of play. Fernando Pascal trying the onside kick here, and it comes up about a half a yard short. So the Falcons get great field position, but the Cavalier defense playing stubborn here and getting forced out of bounds. Sal Sadati on the chase down there, and then the Cavaliers putting pressure on the Huguenot passing game, and it's intercepted by Mike Austin. Mike Austin picking off the pass, his final high school game, and 
gets an interception there to add to his record. Brad Couch going to break something free this time, though. He's going to turn it upfield, and this one going about 47 yards before he finally tracked down. So the Cavaliers in striking distance now. And on the keeper, it's Sprouse turning the corner, picking up a few more. And then Sprouse decides to keep it himself, goes right up the middle, and he just comes up short. So they're on the one-foot line. Cavaliers again with the ball. Sprouse decides to keep it again. Got the heavy package in, but Sprouse holds on to it, and it's touchdown, Cavaliers. Sprouse getting one. And then the extra point attempt, Fernando Pascal up and good right through the upright, and it's 7-0 Cavaliers in the third quarter. Another short kick here by the Cavaliers, and they're going to recover it. Kendrick Robinson again grabbing the ball. That Brad Sprouse took my touchdown. I was supposed to be my dog on touchdown. We fighting after this game. <laughs> so Brandon Tyson a little upset. He didn't get the uh, call there on that last one. How about Kendrick Robinson here bringing that one in? Nice catch by Robinson and a great pass by Sprouse. Cavaliers driving once again. Sprouse looking for someone. Got a little time here. Dances around, but finally gets hauled down by the Falcons. So the Cavaliers will end up having to punt it away, and the Falcons take over. And Cavalier defense again playing great. They'll stop the Falcon drive, but Sprouse again getting thrown for a loss here. Falcons getting through that offensive line, but uh, Brandon Tyson's going to come out and pick up another first down on short yardage. That keeps the drive alive. Sprouse hits number 85, Sharif Henderson. Henderson taking it deep into the Falcon territory. Sal Sadati trying to find a little room around the corner, picks up a couple of yards. Then Sprouse into the end zone, and Kendrick Robinson on the receiving end. Touchdown, Cavaliers. Another six points. Robinson celebrating with his teammates there. And uh, Brandon Tyson got up off the ground. Wow. Anyway, extra point by Fernando Pascal is good. And it is 14 nothing Cavaliers with 219 left in the third quarter. Feeling the heat from the Cavalier defense. The Huguenot quarterback gets four set of bounds. Finally by Sadati. Sadati having another great night. Josh Hunter and Stephen Vaughn double teaming on the stop there of the Falcons. And then on the punt, the snap goes high and rolls into the end zone. But just does roll out the uh, outside line, and it'll be a safety. So the Cavaliers tack on two more points. And on the kick is Kendrick Robinson on the return. Cutting across field, getting a couple of good blocks, but finally forced out of bounds. And that's going to bring an end to the third quarter of play. Cavaliers up 16-0. Sprouse rolls out, looks downfield, and he finds his man, Neil Payne, there, and does he get in? No! They say he's a yard and a half short. But Payne with a nice reception there, getting the catch, and uh, they'll go to the heavy package again, and Brandon Tyson crosses the line with the ball before it comes out of his hand, and it's a touchdown, Cavaliers. So Brandon Tyson heading off the field, and on six more points, and his final uh, play for the Cavaliers will be a touchdown. So nice way to end his career at Clover Hill. Pascal's extra point is good. It's 23-0 Cavaliers in the fourth quarter of play. You cannot try to get anything going here, but uh, Ty Farrell and Kendrick Robinson and a couple others are just making things tough on them. And some of the younger players starting to get into play here. And actually, that was uh, Mike Austin on the tackle there. But on the fumble, it's Stephen Vaughn picking it up. And he's going to take it back 30 yards for a touchdown. Cavaliers get on the board again. Stephen Vaughn getting a, a defensive TD there. And he celebrates with his team. Happy man right there. So the Cavaliers uh, add on one more. And how about Fernando Pascal? Perfect on the season. That will be his final extra point attempt and he hit every one of them, every single one all year long. So great job by him. On the return here, the Huguenot uh, does pick up a few yards, but they'll get forced out of bounds. Like I said, some of the uh, younger players are going to start filtering in here, getting to play for the Cavaliers. Some of the guys not uh, get as much playing time. Men know they're uh, in at quarterback, and he slips up and has some trouble. Cavaliers going to stop the Falcons, and uh, they just put an end to their drive there. And the Cavaliers will get the ball back one more time. They'll just kneel it out. And that's going to wrap things up. Cavaliers win 30 to nothing over the Falcons of Huguenot. Cavaliers going out with a bang, winning their final game of the year. And there's the Cavalettes and the cheerleaders doing a nice job. And let's have some parting words from some of our cheerleaders. This is the last game. We don't have the flags. It's over. But it has been a good four years, right? This is my last and final video. It's over forever. Hi, I'm Lauren, and I'm going to be famous one day. I'm really going to be famous. Watch me on TV. I make my own movie.